Welcome back everyone, Nick and Lex here. Thank you so much for joining me today to this new episode of Music with Nick. Today we have a marathon by Joe and uh, we're going to get into it soon. Um, first of all, thank you so much Joe for sponsoring this video. Thanks everyone for watching, for being here, for supporting the channel. I do appreciate it very, very much. And let's get into the uh, the artists that we're going to react to today. Um, here's a little email that I'm going to read as we you know go through the songs but we're gonna uh start it off with natalie merchant the song river from their album called tigerly 1995 then some more bruce like bruce coburn is really like um, there's a lot of people like requesting bruce which is very very cool also as a guitar player in, uh, so not just as a singer songwriter uh, this is so Bruce Coburn don't have to tell you why by um, and from the album salt Sun and time 74 uh, then we're gonna switch to David Gray I think that's the only one that's not very familiar the uh, song Babylon from the album white ladder 1998 is that Marty there and then Nick Drake um, uh, we're familiar with one full album we did on Patreon. Poor Boy is the song, and the album is called Brighter Later, I think, uh, 71. And the last one would be Pete Townshend from The Who, and I moved on, but this is him as a solo artist, uh, and I moved on from the album Empty Glass. Um, and, uh, let's see, the year is right here. I got it pulled up. 1980. All right, so the notes that um, Joe provided me with are, let's see here, it says, uh, so the first song, let's get into the first song by Natalie Merchant. I've done some um, tracks of the Natalie uh, Merchant album, Tigerly. The one that I remember was Carnival, and oof, I don't, I'm not really sure, but definitely Carnival because... Um, I remember the movie Monster. Um, uh, that's in the movie Monster at the end. So that was just like, yeah, pretty impactful, you know. So uh, the notes it says not a big Natalie Merchant fan at all, but this, um, but at all, but this album is brilliant, start to finish, super worth checking out, and it's uh, entirely. You've reacted to the song Carnival from uh, one of my older marathons. So that was you. Thank you, Joe. And uh, really enjoyed it. P.S. The one with Carnival is. Oh, yeah. Okay. I didn't. Okay. I, I do forget your nicknames is under Eagle's Rule. So Eagle's Rule uh, is Joe as well. You know, we are uh, one and the same, I'm assuming. Yes, I do know. But sometimes, you know, there was a lot of names and nicknames and I, I do tend to confuse people like we have Scott we have big Scott we have great Scott we have um Scott last name and stuff like that um okay so thank you for that so let's get into Natalie Merchant uh the song River and then we'll continue with the list all right again thank you so much and here we go
This is about River Phoenix. I just got it, you know. Um, of course, because it's River, you know, the song is called River. But the young and strong Hollywood sun in the early morning light, his star fell down on Sunset Boulevard. Because I do remember, it was like, it sounds like somebody passed and then... And then the young and strong, beautiful one that we embrace so close is gone. And then what what got me here is like, um, give his mother and father peace, your vulture candor, your casual slander, you murder his memory. Like the media, you know, like, oh, I remember when that happened in Johnny Depp's um, nightclub. And uh, unfortunately, you know, wow crazy i didn't like I, I i didn't connect it um too quickly but yeah it's and i love river phoenix like i love him in stand by me indiana jones where he plays young uh harrison ford and young indy and all the other stuff my own private idaho like great he's just was way ahead and his brother is just also killing it like this family is just so talented um, but wow. Okay, let me go back a little bit. So now, I was like, this sounds like something that I know of, you know. So, But here we go. Beautiful. Again, the music is wonderful and the, her voice is just very powerful. Super, super good. She's going to be, um, she's on tour, but in the, you know, like California area. Santa Barbara and then San Diego. Uh, Saratoga, San Francisco, L.A. Yeah, not Denver. All right, <laughs> let's keep, 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 let's keep going.
Wow. Very beautiful. Um, so, yeah, I remember. So, 1993, October 31st on Halloween. Yeah, he would be now in his 50s. He would be around. Oh, my God. Yes, it's 50. It's 31 years ago. So, he would be like 54. It was 23. Wow. Crazy man. Um, yeah, it's just so sad, you know, because you look at Google and there's just like not pictures of him like old. He's just so young, you know. But there's lots of pictures now that, you know, Google exists. Yeah. Well, you know, that's just the thing with dr drugs and stuff. You know, you have to be very careful and and uh, that's everything. You know, alcohol, drugs, all the stuff. It's very dangerous. Mm. All right. Let's keep it going. Very beautiful song. Very beautiful tribute. Like everything she has to say and. Really, really awesome. Very, very beautiful. I've never imagined there was like a song about River Phoenix like this, you know. Really cool. Thank you. Thank you, Joe. Um, all right. So let's keep it uh, moving. Uh, let me go back. And I love that he didn't like say anything about this in the uh, description. I like that, you know. Um, uh, so because, yeah, it does spoil a little bit. Then I've only I've only would have been like you know, on that subject. Um, so I, I kind of had to find out for myself. Now it says, if you hadn't noticed, I really enjoy Bruce Coburn, another different style for you to check out compared to some other, uh, some of the other stuff you have reacted to for mostly me. <laughs> like Bruce Co he brought the Bruce Coburn into the, into the community. Has a very big, uh, he has a very big catalog and many different styles which he performs brilliantly he deserves a lot more recognition in my hum humble opinion yes and i even did um i want to let me see I, let me look at that video real quick i did one where he basically just plays the guitar and it was great um have i released this yet let's see yes it's right now it's the last of i mean once this comes out it's all going already going to be like five six videos behind but it's first time reaction guitar giants bruce coburn jesse cook and john Schofield, john mclaughlin so check out that video and this was also by yes by eagles rule or joe i put joe so now i can you know combine those names i mean i knew but it's 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 good for you to remind me you know all right so here we go with uh, bruce coburn Salt, sun, and time don't have to tell you why. Here we go. Don't want to be on no rooftop Frying in the afternoon Don't want to sit by no fountain Listening to the man-made stream run Just want to stand where the sea spray gleams like fire with you And I don't have to tell you why Wow. Superb stuff. Don't want 
want to go to no party Full of fair weather friends That guitar is... Don't want to be in no in crowd Chasing after every trend Just want to stand on some hillside In Wales with you And fly Don't have to tell you why Yeah, you're going to be happy about this, Joe, because even Michael, I got a request from Michael today, and he also requested a marathon, and there's also a Bruce song on there. So, yeah. <laughs> Let me see. I just want to see real quick. Let's, let's keep playing, but I wanted to see something. Ornate as a crown prince's church Don't want to live on no sidewalk Underneath no pigeon's perch Just want to stand at the rainbow That's him on the guitar, too. Wow, man. Amazing guitar chops, you know, and not too much and, you know, just enough to carry the song and his voice. Pfft, I love the lyrics. Really, really cool because this is from the 70s. Imagine how you would play now, you know, and uh, we're going to, I think we're going to try and go see him in Boulder. He's going to be in Boulder on May. It's about an hour away, 45 minutes. And uh, yeah, May 10th. Let's see if we make it. I wish, I really want to go. That would be kind of cool um, to see him. So much stuff. You know? And um, this was a great song. Beautiful, beautiful com composition. And the guitar playing, you know, was just very good. And I love that it was just the, you know, a guitar strumming and a little bit of, you know, licks and, and improvisation and and great lyrics. Honestly, really, really good. Now, David Gray. Let's see, David Gray. That's the only one that I'm not really familiar with. But let me see. Before. Gray with an A. Let's see. So it looks like 
Okay, I've reacted to one song. I did this for Travis. And check out this channel. Um, he has a YouTube channel. And I remember we did Giant, Krista Berg, Tears for Fears, Midlake, and David Gray. So I've reacted to one song. All right. Nice. Yeah. Travis is the guy. Uh, <laughs> if you've paid some, if you've been paying some attention, in the comment section is the one that always types in first, like first comment. He um, he, uh, for some reason always gets the first comment. I like it. All right, so um, uh, so here's some uh, David Gray Babylon White Ladder, and the album came out in 1998. Here we go. Friday night, I'm going nowhere. All the lights are changing green to red. Turning over TV stations, situations running through my head. Looking back through time, you know it's clear that I've been blind. I've been a fool to open up my heart to all that jealousy, that bitterness, that ridicule. I'm running wild and all the lights are changing red to green. So good. Moving through the crowds, I'm pushing chemicals are rushing in my bloodstream. Only wish that you were here. You know I'm seeing it so clear. I've been afraid to show you how I really feel. Admit to some of those. If you want it, come and get it, crying out loud. The love that I was giving you was never in doubt. Let go of your heart, let go of your head, and fail it now. Let go of your
Wow. Let's see. Like, I love it. I love it. Let's see what happened. Um, is he still... Okay, so yeah. Because he's still touring. Actually, September 13, Manchester. If you're there, check him out. Just one concert. Um, but I love what it says here. 20 years ago, um, this innovative, intimate, and cross-genre reaching breakthrough artist captured a moment in time that is worthy of celebrating, if not reliving. Um, really cool. Just like, yeah, very timeless, you know. Very, very cool. Very calming and just beautiful music. And, oh my God, the one that's next. Oof, he's got me a few times, you know, where I really like get very emotional. Nick Drake, and it's, it's obviously because of what happened to him that he died so young and uh, many things. But just his music is beautiful. His music is acoustic. I love his voice. So much to love here. So Nick Drake, Poor Boy, is the next one. And I love that this one is the longest one on the list. I really enjoy Nick Drake. So here we go. Um, let's go. Let us sing for my supper. <laughs> I'm I never held my neighbor. Never do what is proper. My fair share of labor I'm a poor boy And I'm a rover Count your coins and throw them over my shoulder I may grow older Nobody knows how cold it grows And nobody sees I'll shake in my knees Nobody cares How steep my stairs And nobody smiles If I cross their stairs different this album because the one that we did the full album was more acoustic him by himself i love this has almost like a jazzy kind of vibe and uh, i love the sax i love the piano i love the drums like very very quiet i mean you can still appreciate his voice and his guitar but uh, very cool very very different um but yeah this that voice is so unique wonderful Seems that I've forgotten Never ask what I came from It's like a little boss Oh, I was begotten I'm a poor boy And I'm a ranger Things I say May seem stranger than Sunday Changing to Monday Nobody knows How cold it flows And nobody feels Worn down heels Nobody's eyes Can make the skies Nobody spreads
isn't this what he says? If you just dress in white. Backing vocals, sax, piano. That that piano improvisation was wicked. Very, very cool. Let's see if I... Um, so he was doing like this bossa a little bit. Of, let's see if I can... <clears throat> You know, like that kind of deal. Something like that. But yeah, that, that it had like the little vibe, you know, of the um, Brazilian, you know, like Bossa Nova. Um, really cool. I loved it. I just love his um, style. He's such a like soft, you know, softly spoken and just everything, you know. And I love that he had the, you know, backing vocals and. Um, and you know, the other album has like no drums. It's just an acoustic guitar in him. And this was a, a little bit more full and, and, and I really like it, you know, very quiet drums. The piano was just wild. I love it. Um, 
and it says a singular talent who passed almost unnoticed during his brief lifetime nick drake produced several albums of chilling somber beauty <laughs> that's such a great description whoever wrote that um but yeah there's a lot of good information here really love nick drake all right, so now we have another amazing composer I just saw on Jimmy Fallon. He was hilarious because he's launching Tommy. I think, I don't know if he's doing it by himself. Um, let's check real quick. Pete Townsend. Uh, let's see. Pete Town. And then... Um, Tommy, let's see what's going on because I saw something and he was hilarious. Like he was explaining that just how he got together to form the who and check it out. It's a really funny interview, um, on the tonight show. I think it's called the tonight show. I'm not really sure, but with, um, Jimmy Fallon. And um, he's also like talking about the pinball wizard and why and, you know, stuff like that. So we still have to listen to Tommy. I know pinball wizard, um, but but yeah, so it's oh, yeah, Tommy, Tommy, the who's Tommy returns to Broadway one week ago. So, hey, man, <laughs> that, that would be something, you know, to watch. All right. So now last song is by the man himself, Pete. Townsend and uh, I, I think he's an amazing artist even without the who I mean with the who he was you know like the the driving force and the lyricist and composer you know it says a singular wait a minute that's <laughs> um I have to click on Pete's song so let's let's give it up for and I moved from empty glass 1980 and then I'll read a little bit of his bio here we go
so different this music from his other stuff like this piano has like this slapback echo on there that and um that gave it such a different vibe that and the bass you almost no guitar so pete townsend um was the guitarist and primary songwriter for the who from 1964 to 1982 also participating in the group's occasional reunions after its formal breakup, best known for his conceptual work. He wrote Tommy and Quadrophenia for the band, etc. etc. You know, I mean everybody knows this except me, but yeah, he's just like you know. It's crazy the numbers that I uh, that I when I look at the uh, numbers of plays, so Pete has five hundred and sixty two thousand eight hundred and eighty four monthly listeners where whether nick drake had two million eight hundred thousand that's crazy how different you know um for somebody who died so early and re and released so few such i mean obviously way less material but you know um and you can also when you click on the information you can see what country listens uh, the most to certain albums so that's really really cool well this was so much fun thank you joe or eagles now i'm gonna call you joe the eagles fan <laughs> no, i'm just kidding but no natalie merchant beautiful a uh, song about river phoenix bruce coburn um just surprises me more and more you know his guitar playing is wonderful his singing always very welcome david gray was awesome um, I think I didn't comment too much on that one. I don't know why. I think I was waiting for the Nick Drake with too much anticipation. Uh, but yeah, Nick Drake, be uh, poor boy, very very different style here uh, than uh, what did what's the one that we listened to, Alexia and I. The f um, Pink Moon, yeah, Pink Moon, and uh, then Pete, also totally different music than I expected, but very very cool. I've heard more, uh, you know, like the album that I've heard the most of is White City. And uh, what else? I've done some other stuff. White City, and I think I've did some of... Um, Psycho Derelict? I think that's it, you know? But uh, more, I mean, the most of White City, 1985. So that's like, I'm going mobile. I still remember that. I don't know. That's like an earworm that I can't like. Is it? Is it on here? I'm going mobile. Oh my God, it's not. I'm going mobile. Going mobile. Let's see. Going. Going mobile. Oh, that's from the Who. <laughs> okay. Never mind, but it, at least I was close enough. This was amazing. Thank you so much, Joe. This was a wonderful marathon. I had a lot of fun. I hope you also did. Uh, please let me know in the comment section what you think of this mix. You know, it's almost like a, al always like a mixtape, you know, uh, when they put uh, together a marathon. And it's a very, very... Uh, it's an amazing thing to do, you know, supporting the channel, you know, and uh, and putting these marathons together. It's a lot of fun. Uh, so thank you, you know, for all your mixed tapes. And they're going to be on this channel for eternity, pretty much. You know, you can always come back and see, oh, I did this marathon 20 years ago, you know, for this, <laughs> this couple. So that's kind of cool, you know. That's um, what I like about this whole YouTube thing. I hope, I mean... If YouTube is still around, you know, in 20 years, but let's hope so. Um, or crazier stuff. I don't know. But uh, thank you so much again for, for, for doing this. And all you guys, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe, all that stuff. 
that the uh, YouTube algorithm recommends. And uh, I do thank you so much. Thank you. I'll see you all in the next one.